Damn it. What are you doing here? I had to come. There are too many questions. Now forget about the questions. The answers don't matter now. Margaret, just go, would you? You'd be married. And I'm being taken back to Ireland, so please just forget your questions, forget me, and just please go, all right? Go home, Margaret. We said all that mattered. Have we? What? Did I miss it? There's nothing else to tell. How about the truth? Finally, now, one last time, tell me the truth. Truth about what? Did you kill Siobhan? Isn't that what you read in the papers? Isn't that why you called the bloody police to come and get me? I was scared. Of me? I'm confused. I don't know. I don't know what to think. Everything I've heard and read since I left you in Innescrag makes me think that I was wrong, that you killed Quilligan and Siobhan. Well, then that's it, isn't no. it? No. No, it isn't. Because you sent Maggie Carpenter to warn me. Why would you do that? Why did you turn yourself in? Patrick, it doesn't add up. Listen. Poet, physicist, teacher, killer, whoever you are. Please, from the memory of a few days in Ireland when we made time, stop. Please, please tell me the truth before something terrible happens. I trusted you enough to make love to you. Now, either I made a horrendous mistake and I should never trust my feelings again, or you're an innocent man caught in a very dangerous trap. Please. I need to know. Switching identities. Aren't you? Are you really intending to marry this man, Dylan? Yes. Do you love him then? Oh, yes, I do. Well, then go away. Stay out of this. No. I can't, because it doesn't make sense. Even if you lied about who you are, or, or Siobhan, or, or the men of 21, it doesn't explain why they kidnapped us blindfolded and took us to a Celtic ruin. Angel, why are you persisting with these questions about this? What? What's it for? Huh? Do you know where I grew up? There was a building where you could take your copper pennies and rub them on a brick, make them look like silver. But they were still pennies, Margaret. Doesn't matter how this may look to you. Doesn't matter. None of it matters now. It does matter. Because if you are telling the truth, then I can still help you. I know the police commissioner. He'll call the FBI, and, and I'll tell them everything that happened in Ireland about Inspector Quilligan and the men who were chasing us and the sheet music. Will you stop? Quit trying to make me sound like some bloody hero. If you want the truth, all right, I'll give you the truth. I needed help, and you were there, and you were lost, and so gullible, and so convenient, and I used you. It's the truth.
I don't believe what happened between us didn't mean anything to you. As I explained to you, the police were after me and you were there, willing to believe. Can you honestly say it was just an act? That everything you said and everything you did was just to set me up to cover for you? You said... You said that the night we spent together changed your whole world. That's me. Silver-tongued, brooding Irish poet. Ah, Penny, brown Penny, brown Penny. I'm looped in the loops of her hair. Works every time. Shine like silver, but it's still a penny. Margaret, wait. Margaret, please. Remember what I said about the sheet music? I'm not alone in this. Gotta keep quiet about seeing that. Oh, you'd be in real trouble. Oh, am I to believe that you actually care whether I live or die? Said I used you, never said I wanted you dead. I have enough deaths on my conscience as it is. Don't worry. I'm not planning on dying anytime soon. After all, I'm engaged to a wonderful man. I have everything to live for. All the best to you, then. I love you. 